Welcome back everyone to yet another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Today I've got a super exciting mission for you guys, which I got to experience at a recent Ubisoft event. Essentially, it's a giant battle and a sea raid of a castle in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Essentially, I was able to attend a Ubisoft event at which I was able to sit down for three hours with Assassin's Creed Valhalla and record every single bit of it. So over the coming week or so, I'll be posting a bunch of videos of Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Watch Dogs Legion, so if you are not subscribed to the channel just yet, I strongly recommend you do so. If you end up enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like on it, and I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy what I have for you today, because this mission was something special. The atmosphere, the combat, just everything about it was very well done. Obviously, everything you see is work in progress, so it is subject to change, but I think this is gonna give you a pretty decent idea of how the raids are gonna look in this game. But anyway, enjoy. To give you a little bit of context before this mission, we're essentially preparing to attack a castle that's ruled by a Viking clan which has been raiding local Saxon towns and villages, essentially trying to gain control of East Anglia. We've done a small little side mission to have some of the local Saxon warriors join the assault on the castle, and the rest of the army should be already at the forward camp, as you guys can see. We already see a bunch of longships being stationed here, and we gotta talk to our brother, and I think from there, we might be able to begin this assault. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit anxious about this, because I'm still getting to grips with the control of this game. So yeah, doing a giant raid, a giant battle, I don't think it's the best so early in the game. So all we gotta do is speak to our brother, hopefully he's got it all planned out, because let's be honest, I'm the muscle behind this operation, he's the brains. I mean, I don't really know him very well, so it's gonna be interesting as to what he has to say. Because, you know, he might not be the smartest. Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edwards Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. Nice. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? Uh, not quite. But sure. Let's go. Our target is Burr Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruart's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. Our warriors with some funky haircuts. They need your words, Abel. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm not one for speeches. Oswald was a man who didn't hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory and fight with the same extra courage he showed. For Oswald! For Oswald! For Oswald! Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruud's clan once and for all. We hear a lot about this Oswald guy, but all I know about him is that he's dead and he died in battle. That's all the context we have, essentially, of him. So, yeah, uh, but I guess he must have been kind of important. Maybe a future king or something. Not exactly sure. Oh, that horn is actually giving me goosebumps right now. Our Vikings are preparing for battle. And the Verdruna vibes are already underway. I'm loving it. The music in this game is goddamn perfect. Nailed it. Knocked it out of the park, boys. Oh yeah, because we're attacking from the sea. You remember the dream I spoke of? You sailed through hell. No way. This is gonna be just like the trailers, right? Oh my god. So the trailer wasn't misleading! 
that's actually brilliant because a lot of those CGI trailers just showcase something really cool that we'll never see in the game. But actually for this one, they're showing us an actual raid that was going to take place in the game. That's sick. And maybe that's what we saw in the original trailer, like the cinematic CGI thing, is when Oswald died the first battle when we arrived in England. Maybe? But then that doesn't make sense, because how would Oswald be with us if he's Saxon? I don't know. Just forget what I said, alright? This is just looking way too cool right now, and we gotta focus on that instead, boys and girls. Like I said, I'm not very good with the controls of this game, so expect a lot of fails. Hopefully gonna cut all of them out to make myself look ten times better than I actually am at these types of games. But this is cool. The music, the atmosphere, the castle getting lit up by lightning. Odin is with us, boys. We've been spotted! Steady! Hold course! Oh shit. Ready yourselves to brace, men! We bring Helheim to our enemies! How oh, nice! They greet us with some of their own from the air! Oh shit, they've got the fire hours from the trailer as well! Technically not the most accurate weapon, you know, historically. There's no evidence supporting fire arrows or, you know, actual usefulness of fire arrows. But I gotta say, it looks pretty goddamn cool. Just seeing them coming at you like a barrage of missiles. It's amazing. This is something else right now. <laughs> That is one way to set up a battle as you're sailing your longship towards the castle. Hold it, boys! Hold it steady! Why are you setting the ship on fire? I don't get it. Oh, it's going for the gate! Yo, that was actually pretty cool. This is giving me Helm's Deep flashbacks, boys. So I guess that's what they meant about like a special plan for his brother's longship. That makes a lot of sense now. I'm already loving this so much. Look at that boys, we've got a battling ram going in as well. And all of our viking warriors just rushing into battle. This is so cool. At first I didn't believe the leaks that they were gonna have massive castle assaults because it didn't make much sense to me. But now that I see it, I'm loving it boys. They weren't kidding when they said the combat was going to be hella visceral in this game. It's very brutal, I love it. Cheeky throwing axes, buddy. Oh shit, no! Spearman and Axeman. Kind of powerful in this game. Ooh! I would not want to get hit with an axe like that to the shoulder. My goodness. And that guy just lost his head. <laughs> Oh, yes! The battling rum! It's actually doing its job! I don't know why I'm surprised, you know, it's just, you know, a basic thing. Look, a tool that they're using is actually doing its job. Oh god, where did you come from? You absolute bastard, that's right. Absolutely devour the shield, and now you're gone, mate. Come here. Oh my- <laughs> Jesus, the finishing moves! I love them! You're not even gonna get the chance to attack me and I've got an arrow stuck in me. That's not good. Time to get those axes flying again, boys. We did so much damage with them. Holy shit, yo! That is one hell of an assassination! Oh god, the finishing moves in this game, man. They're actually so satisfying to pull off. Just seeing your enemies been absolutely destroyed by the brute force of Eivor. It's something else, man. There you go. That's one guy down. Holy shit, yo, that guy is on fire! Oh shit, wait! That's one of the people that was using the battling ram. It's not getting through at this rate if it's just gonna get set on fire like this repeatedly. Is that gonna stop from the fire just being thrown at it? Hopefully, right? Oh, I think that worked. Oh no, they're pouring oil. Oh, boys. Let's see if we can do it real fast. Oh no. Ah, shit. That is not gonna work. We gotta do something else to stop it. I don't know if we should kill all the archers or what exactly. 
Oh shit, the pots! Of course, that makes so much sense. Look at that. We can just set on fire just like so. And now we should be able to use the battling ram. That's a big brain move right here, boys. Oh yes, first attempt! It's sometimes so hard to tell friendlies from foes apart. But I love the fact that you can just smash through someone's shield. It just shows you the brute force of this guy. Madness. That's right, get some of those poisoned blades, buddy. Get some of that G fuel in your bloodstream. Come here, yep. Have a bear hug from me. Oh shit, those are berserkers! Oh no, we're in trouble, boys. Big goddamn trouble. Attack. Come on. Wait, move, move, move! Why was he not moving? Oh shit, I'm gonna get my ass eaten here. That helped a little bit. Come here, you. Absolute page up looking a boy. I get bopped. That's what you get for going shirtless into battle. Oh. Okay. Shield is gone. Now the guy's head is gone. <laughs> now we just have to take care of the spearman. I always have a little bit of trouble with these guys. Never mind. That shouldn't be too difficult. Look at that. Get stomped on. Oh shit, there's another gate we gotta go through. And of course, there's more fire arrows. Right, let's get rid of the pots. So we can stop the fire arrows from being fired at the battling ram. Let's quickly take out this guy as well. Come on. Yes. There you go. Ah! <laughs> he lost both of his arms! Oh, that one didn't work for some reason. Smash through it! One more time. One more time. Oh. Let's do it again. Come on, boys, and now we charge. Oh, we did it. Have we managed to capture the castle just yet? No. There seems to be quite a few enemies. Oh, no, never mind. We're winning this for sure. Oh. Nasty. Oswald. He lives. Oh, shit. Oswald lives! Eivor, is that you? Shut your ass, twig spy. Stand fast. This will be over soon. Worry not for me. You must stop this. Silence, fool. Maybe so this dead. is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon whore, son? If this swine is your prize, Come and get him! Boss fight? Oh no. Please don't tell me it's gonna be a boss fight. I'm not a big fan of those. I don't do very well with them. And of course it is. And he has a goddamn wolf! Are you kidding me? Stupid ass, silly ass looking dog man. Oh no. Oh god. Yeah, that's right. Get those poisoned axes. I hope they're gonna do more damage to you. I'm not sure what's that gold thing above their health bar. I hope it's not like stamina or like magic or something. Come here. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh my god, he's eating my face. We survived somehow. I've got no berries left. So this is gonna be interesting. Holy shit. Access to the rescue every single time that thing works. It's the most useful ability I've seen in this game so far. All right, let's go for the poison again. I don't know how much damage it actually did to him. It slowly chips away, I think. Oh, there you go. The wolf is gone. Right, it's just you now. He's on fire. He's losing so much health right now. That was the best strat ever. Just get him in the fire and set him ablaze with the arrows. Because the arrow is going to catch fire midair. Basically setting him on fire, which is great. That fate, they should be ruled, wolf kissed. Made thralls, not treated as equals. We are better than this. Than all of them. Do not drag me down to the sewers you wallow in. Oh! Is that a first glimpse at the rap battle? Oh shit, it's the Lord of Light. Boys, we're fucked. We're absolutely fucked here. Oh no. <laughs> Mate! You can't just set your sword on fire like this! That fate will not be 
Oh god, what did you throw at me? Was that a dagger? Mate, I'm gonna lose this. I've got no berries. Get this. That's right. Ah! Oh shit, we did it. My goodness. First attempt, boys. Oh, but he's still alive. Did we get to kill him? Thank you. He seems kind of happy. You throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scribe of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God. A lawful assembly. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilled than is needed. Oh, so we do get the choice to kill him. Um, yeah, I kind of want to do it the Viking way. He deserves death, Oswald. That's our way. Eivor, please. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely disregarded. Sorry, mate. Blood for blood leaves no warmth in the hearts of men, Eivor. None at all. It's the Viking way. He's gotta go to Valhalla. And we have done it, boys and girls. We have actually managed to complete the assault on Borg Castle. I wonder if he could potentially go to this location before the mission and just kill everybody. Will the assault still happen? That's actually kind of interesting. I might try that out when the game finally comes out. Saxon and Dane, we fought well side by side. If there is to be a future for both our kind, people like you and me will have to change the most to live within it. Even if that makes us uneasy. When you are crowned king, the laws of this land will be yours to decide. All this is... is like a dream. <laughs> but you're not asleep. What? Well fought, well fought, the both of you. This Oswald guy is a bit weird. Oh my, hello? You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. Wait, if what? Those two are getting married? And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Right. We both know who wears Come the pants in that relationship. Much to prepare for. So this Oswald guy, is he meant to become a king of East Anglia? I think that's kind of what I'm getting from it. I don't think he's quite fit to be king. Unless, you know, Eivor is going to be pulling strings behind the scenes, which I can kind of get behind. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. Same. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Eivor. For now, I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. Fantastic. So we have done it, boys and girls. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel for plenty more Assassin's Creed Valhalla content. I've got about three hours of footage. And like I said, there's going to be plenty more videos coming out over the next few days or so. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe with notifications on because you don't want to miss any of them. In the next episode, I think we might check out the actual wedding that's going to take place in this game and check out some of the mini games and activities that you can do there. And I think it's just going to be interesting to see some of the story content in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're going to have a wonderful day and I shall see you guys next time. Take care, goodbye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.